Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make zones in Roblox Studio. It's going to be really simple. First of all, 97% of you are not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button right now and then we can get onto the video. Have you clicked it? No, you've not. No, you've not. No one clicks it. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making some zones and I'm going to show you what you can do with these zones, make them in safe zones, etc. So you're going to make two zones. You're going to make these both transparent you can do whatever you want for these you make them fully transparent make sure can collides off then what we're going to do is we're going to open make a folder we're going to call it called zone areas and then we're going to open another folder and this is going to be called road one that's right zone one and zone two with these two zones we've now got them sorted out we can place this into zone one this into zone two we need to grab this, this is called zone, this is going to be in the description of the video in the discord, you need to have this, I'm not going to show you this, it's a module script. This is going to be placed into the uh, replicated storage, then what we're going to do is we're going to go to player scripts, we're going to make a local script, this is going to be local zone equals require game get service replicate storage dot zone and then we're going to have local lo local player equals game dot players dot local player then we're going to have local player gui equals local player dot wait for child and this is going to be the player gui now with that we can then do local tween oh sorry we do not need the tween service today then we can do local run service equals game get service and then run service okay now that we've done that we're going to do local zone areas equals workspace dot zone areas and then four underscore comma container in pairs and then we're gonna do the zone areas get children and then you so now that we've got that we can then do container wait for child part and then we can do math not huge now that we've got got all that out of the way we can then go down a little bit more and we can do local zone equals zone dot new this can be container and then we can do zone bind to root and this is going to be enter only one zone at a time then we can do zone dot local player entered Entered. okay and then we can do connect and then function then that's done so now that we've got the player function we can leave that for a second and we can also do the zone dot local player exited connect function And that is perfect for that. So now that we've got that out of the way, what we need to do is go to start a GUI, screen GUI, frame. So we can just grab this here. You can design this however you feel. And then do a text label within that. Okay. So now that we've got that, we can then come into here and we can go player GUI dot. And then this is going to be screen GUI dot frame dot text label dot text equals container dot name and then we can do the exact same thing here for when they exit but we're going to call this no region detected okay now that we've got this this is all the script i think we shall need for this to work once this loads we can then test so the label is on our screen Helps if you um, anchor the zones. 
There we go. Now that they're anchored, we can now test it. Okay. So if I come into zone one, you can see that it says zone one. If I leave, it says no region detected. And if I go into zone two, then it says zone two. As you can see, this means I can do anything with these zones because I'm within the zone. So if I, for example, wanted to change something like the time or um, things like uh, their health or etc. We can do that by getting the uh, player, then getting the um, humanoid off of the player. Now there is another way of uh, doing this, which is using a touch event, but we do not use touch events because they are broken. Now that's how to make zones in Roblox Studio. The, if you want the product uh, for free, you can join the Discord. The Discord link is in the description. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Please subscribe, please like the video if you've gone and used this as a good tutorial. More tutorials in the future. Have a good day. Bye bye.